Hey everyone, it's the Four Gun Guy, and today it's July 3rd, 2022, and a buddy of mine told me to do a video on the setup that you see behind me. Now there's a lot of options out there, and you can get really expensive with some of the plates that you can put on top of your tripod, but I went more of a budget route, because you know me, if I can save a buck and spend it on something that actually goes down range, I'm going to do that. So if you're ready to go, let's get started. Let's talk about what you're really looking at here. So first off, uh, and I'll put all these parts up here uh, on the video, but you know, there's a lot of options out there for plates, right? You can get the, the gray ops plates, you can get these, these uh, you'll, you'll hear them called uh, cheese plates for uh, photography, and I'm just gonna move this over here. And you can get a lot of different options here. And I opted for a very inexpensive option. Uh, let me see if I can get a better shot of this, which is really just a bar. You can see the bar right here. I got this on Amazon for, I think you get two bars for like 14 bucks. Uh, the flag here, let's just go with that as well is just a piece of uh, all thread from Home Depot. This is quarter inch all thread. I put a little uh, washered nut on it there so it can't go in any deeper. And then this top piece where the flag is, that is a part of, from Kestrel. So when you uh, uh, go out to the Kestrel website, and again, I'll put the link there, you can get this this piece that, that freely rotates, and this just screws right on to that knob, or to this all thread. And then I just got some construction tape, or whatever you want to call this, and I just attached it to the back of that. This works really well in the matches, really well, because I can set this up. The, uh, uh, the all thread's higher, you know, I, in fact, I cut this down a little bit, but it's high enough to where I don't get in the way its way, other people don't get in its way, and the wind can flow pretty freely. Now, when we're talking about the binoculars here, this is where we're using the BOG, uh, I think it's BOG binocular mount or something like that. I'll put this up here too. Uh, you can get this mount for about 59 bucks, 60 bucks, less than that now, I think. And then here, I just have a plate that I had from uh, photography, or you can get a plate on, again, Amazon, very cheaply, and this just screws into this, this uh, screw here that they have here on this bar. So when you buy these bars on Amazon, you get these, you get these adapters that comes with it. I mean, it's really inexpensive. And then again, I can just undo my binocular strap here and take the binoculars off. And then the head is really a floating, well, not a floating head, but it's a, it's this, you know, where I can undo it, move it, and then redo it. And the thing I like about that is, look, if I'm out spotting, right, let's look at this. If I'm out spotting here, you're going to see my dirty backyard here. But if I'm out spotting, let me try to get around here then I'm simply undoing this, moving the binoculars to where I need to go, tightening it back down. It's very easy. And my hand's always steadying this. So it always, it works really well. And then over here on this side, you'll see that I've got a bag with my range finder. Let me kind of get through here with my range finder on it. And again, this is my Revic range finder. I did a review on that. I got a review on the binoculars as well but the Revic is just sitting on a bag here. Now, this, just a regular bag, this little cheese plate here, I actually had from my video uh, uh, equipment. So I just used this, and I didn't need anything big because really all I'm gonna do, if I even use it like this, which I'm gonna talk to you about here in a second, I'll just put the bag on there. I can come up here, get on the, Get on the range finder and now I'm good to go. So that's that. Let's talk about some options though when you're looking through uh, or when you are ranging. Well, let's talk really quickly about this bag here and the cheese plate that it's resting on. 
Now, sometimes when you get into a match, you won't be able to take your tripod up to the line of fire, right? There's things in the way or whatever. Uh, so it's, I like this setup because I can quickly take the bag off, my rangefinder off, walk up to the uh, stage prop where the line of fire is, and then I can get my readings directly from there and I'm not messing with a tripod. When I'm done, I can come back put this back the way it is or even just put my rangefinder away. Uh, so that's a really good option there. The other thing is this adapter here, I've got another plate that goes on, on this for my spotting scope. So if I don't want to use the binoculars, I can just use my spotting scope, put it on here and it's the same concept. I can make that change out in about a minute. So it's very easy to interchange these things. Uh, the last thing I wanted to point out is this little thing right here, this little pouch. This is really good to have. Uh, you can put your Kestrel, throw your Kestrel in there, uh, any little accessories that you might want to put in there, your cell phone, whatever, and it just goes along with you. Well, I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, I've got a lot of other stuff coming out. I was sent some products from a couple companies uh, that are budget products and I'm going to do some videos on those because in this day and age with inflation the way it is and we're all trying to pinch our pennies maybe if you're just getting into the shooting sport you want to get into it but you don't have a thousand dollars to spend on a uh, you know night vision scope or a red dot or anything like that so I'm going to do some videos on some lower priced budget options. Well, hey, thanks again, everyone, and thanks again, uh, Texas 22 Jack, for telling me to make this thing. Uh, it was fun. It's hot out here, but it was fun. And until next time, everyone, shoot straight.